my biggest problem in casting is I have sold for many years, and I need to walk you through this process real quickly too before we quit. I have sold these guys. These are in scale signal masts, heads. They fit on the, oh come on, camera change. They fit on the Digitrax uh, signal mast. And I, I cast them, I don't know, 160 at a time in my mold, uh, which we'll talk in about a second. This is my mold there that I cast up. No, you can't already see it. That's them. Um, they are so small, and let me put one on my finger here and I'll show you. They are so small that I really have to kind of put heat to them to get them to set. They're just, they don't have enough thermal mass to be able to cause themselves to set. So what I have is I have one of those standard uh, shrouded shop lights, you know, the clip, the clip on light. Right. And I put that bulb and I hang it about four or five inches above this mold. This is my cover plate that keeps everything flat. I hang it about six or seven inches above that and put it in a box open top because you don't build up too much heat. But I heat this thing for an hour or so to give it enough heat to cause that urethane to set up. Um, here, I wanna, I'm going to let those parts set while I talk about this. The only other thing that you need to talk about or need to think about is if you're going to do a production mold, which I have done here with these um, signal mast heads. The first thing you want to do is I made a master of this mast head. And then I made a master mold. Okay, so we have a master part and we have a master mold. If I were a professional model making company, I would take both of those and put them in a safe someplace else, safety deposit box, in a bank. But before I took away the production mold, the master production mold, I would cast up several of them which I did, and around here someplace, and let's start here, here it is. I made this mold. This mold has um, five times five. It's got 25 mastheads in it. After I got this finished and it was completed and successfully made, I took the master mold and the master part and I put them in the safe. They're not to be touched for a long time. This guy, if I need more for this guy, <laughs> if I need to make a new master piece here, I'll cast this. Then I'll make a new one here, and then I make a new production mold. Now, why do I even have to think about that? Because the only thing we haven't talked about tonight is degradation. Degradation, degradation is when I do castings with urethane in silicone. General rule is I'm going to get about 15, give or take three to maybe five at the most parts out of this mold before it's going to begin to tear in some places or uh, degradate. Okay, So I'm not going to get that many castings out. That's why I made 166 or whatever it is in here because I knew I was only getting about 15 shots out of that before I'm going to have to make another one. So I made a lot of them, okay? And I never want to have to go back to that master part, preferably not back to the master mold, unless it's absolutely necessary. I have a fire and I ruin all this. Then I can go back and I can recreate my parts. But I want that master off-site someplace where it can't get ruined along with everything else, okay? So just a, a word on, if you decide you want to be really crazy and do this for a living, you need to understand the, the, the concept of a master and a master mold, then a production mold, and then the actual mold that you're actually going to produce the parts out of.